bringing home economics back is what we're talking about right now. Our next guest is the focus on STEM education, such as science, technology, and math, have left our students without many critical life skills. We want to bring in Hugh Atchison right now. He is chef and founder of Seed Life Skills. Uh, Hugh, good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Well, connect the dots for us. You're a renowned chef, and you, pro you, you now are creating this Seed Life Skills charity, wanting home ec back in the schools. Why? Because it's a really easy fit into an existing class structure. It doesn't cost much to revamp curriculum, make it really retainable. But, you know, home ec hasn't really kept up with the paces of, of how we've grown up as a society. But what we need to do, every 20-year-old needs to learn at 12 how to poach an egg, roast a chicken, how to read a lease and sign a cell phone contract. But we're not teaching those things. So if we can, then we kind of level the playing field. And I just want to empower kids to grow up, to have options, and to really be literate in what they're doing in this world. You know, none of us really cook anymore. But, so there are foundational things and skills and powers. It's kind of like merit badges. I it's, love it. It's like urban homesteading. Yeah, I think you're hitting home on a really uh, good point here because I think you're starting to see that there's this innate um, desire for the youth to actually engage in home economics, regular economics. They have that whole, uh, you know, desire when they're young to open up a lemonade stand and yeah. be an entrepreneur. So I think this is a good way to foster. And I think uh, in discussing what, what you're, you're, you're talking about is, is a lot of millennials right now are focusing on experiences and food and things like that as opposed to going out and buying trinkets. So I think it's good that we're doing something. So what do you think the biggest impediment is, though, to get these types of programs into the schools? You know, there's so many people focusing on school lunches. There's so many people focusing on school gardens. But nobody's focusing on this one thing, which is just this curriculum. It's been really easy because it's untested. Uh, a lot of cl classes are now testable and uh, go towards the scores and schools and everything like that. But this is kind of an elective, so it's easy to get in there. And the response has been great. We're live in four middle schools in Clark County, Georgia. Eventually, the curriculum is going to be just free for any school who wants it, charter, private, public. We don't care. It's for everyone. And uh, so it's been actually relatively easy to really get it in the right people's hands and create something with the help of R.B. Salmon Foundation, a bunch of other corporates who are helping us really launch this into something that's an open source amazing curriculum. So you've got Seed Life Skills creating curriculum to be used in schools everywhere, right? Yeah. Are, are you yeah. seeing more interest in urban versus rural classrooms? Where do you see the most interest? We're seeing it across the board. We're seeing rural interest. We're seeing uh, urban interest. We're seeing it everywhere. So this is a really practical skill, and I think one of the things that we've seen is a lot of practical skills have gone by the wayside, whether it's VoTech, whether it's, you know, everybody feels like you have to have higher education, but we're missing so many of the details. So how does this impact everybody's lives later? You know what, what, you remember certain things when you're taught them. There are some things that we learn in school that we never forget. But if I can teach you how to poach an egg and you never forget that, if I teach you how to make a vinaigrette from scratch with four ingredients and you can avoid buying all that stuff in the supermarket, if I can show you those things that empower you, you won't forget them. And even if it's a 75% success rate, imagine the impact we have on Medicare costs, which is a big chap this week on obesity rates and type 2, di two diabetes rates. If I can give a 20 year old who learned all these skills in grades 6, 7, 8 the ability to cook for themselves or a family of four as opposed to going out and buying um, fast food or whatever it may be. So we need to prove to America that you can afford to cook from scratch again, that you know that you can uh, fix your the f many financial hurdles that are about to be in front of you, that you can avoid them with just a little logic and a little skill sets. And so it just needs to be retainable. It needs to be exciting. By the way, it also just builds confidence. For sure. That's what we need to do. Yeah. That's what every kid needs, regardless yeah. of where you come from and how much money your family is worth or whatever, what color you are, and where you're from. It just we need to empower kids. Yeah. That's what we need to do these days. Hugh, thanks for doing just that. Thank you. Good to see you, Hugh Atchison, joining us there. Still